I really want to make this video. I thank you, Theo, by Paul. And before you say anything, yes, I was in this video. Just want to keep you guys in mind, I was in this video. So before we start, I want to say thank you for everything for this year, for my SMG4 content. There will be more for next year. We only have a Christmas special left, and that's it for this year. And I wanted to say thank you, you guys, for coming for this year. I can't wait to see you all next year with more SMG4 content and other content that I'll be doing for next year. Hopefully, I try my best to have a computer by then so I can do uploads faster as usual. Like for my early reactions like SMG4, SML, or something like that. And sometimes I'll backup, but well, not really early since he always uploads early. That makes sense. So, Paul uploaded about six hours ago to time we recording this, and um, I haven't done this earlier because it was so early to record this. So I was gonna do a video to react to this, but just wanna let you know I was in this video. I was in this video. Keep that in mind. I was in this video. Just wanna keep your heads up. I was in this video. Okay? Alright. Alright y'all, so we got a 31 minute watch to do. And before we get started, I wanna say thank you guys for coming. And yes, this is a premiere by the way, what do you expect and seeing? And, yep. And by the way, guys, I will be talking about the SMG4 episodes 2022, sometimes before next, before or after New Year's Eve. And two, the Lost Walk will have to be moved until I talk to the other walks first. I know the Lost Walk was this year from 2022 of the episodes, but I am moving it until I. Do the Orox, because for next year, I tell you all that I'm going to be doing, talking about the Orox next month. So just keep that in mind. Alright guys, so before we get started, you know what to do. Make sure you go to hit the poll down below. And also make sure you go subscribe to SMG4 for their amazing work of the whole crew and the team out there. And especially my support for you guys and my support for everything. Alright, I've been... I've been doing the best for it. Alright, so, before we do this, let's see how it goes. Thank you. Shout out to our editor, Paul, by the way, for making that deep fake for us. Yeah! Go, oh, guys, if you haven't yet, you should go check out Paul um, on his channel. He actually has his own YouTube channel. With many scalpers, yep. he's going to be on 100,000 subscribers. The first yeah, time I know him was back, back after the 10th year first. Check him out. This month alone, nearly 10 years ago, on the 23rd of December, I created this channel. And I wanted to celebrate this occasion by having very special videos being uploaded during this month. This isn't the only one being uploaded, but it is going to be the first one uploaded. And the reason why I'm talking about SMG4, because nearly three years ago, Ooh. on the 15th of March, I have been helping with making videos for the SMG4 channel. Wow. The first video I ever worked on was if Mario was in Animal Crossing. Her, that was back in 2020. Now that Her, that's cool. Being used is Didn't know, but that was cool. Also for hey, time, yes, he actually so made the more those things too, actually. Um, the Mario React series. So for a period of time, some of the skits were actually based upon the kind of humor that I make for my own channel. Wow, itself. nice. Plus, over on the Glitch channel, I also was doing the uh, cinematography and animation composition for the Sunset Paradise show. Nice. And a part of SMG4 has been an amazing experience. And I wanted to use this special occasion for my channel to be able to talk a bit about what it's like to actually making videos for them. While also kind of mentioning the stuff that I've personally done for the channel myself. What do you even do? So for those wondering exactly what my occupation is for the channel, it's pretty much doing the animations and oh, girls, that face. The videos, <laughs> voice acting, and sound design. And it's the skills I've yeah. learned with SMG4 that have actually helped with the videos that I've made on this very channel. Outside of YouTube, I've worked in the creative industry for years. And I can confidently say this is the first time that I actually generally care 
about the content that I've been creating. But not just in the terms of the videos themselves, because throughout the years, I've actually been coming up with my own episode ideas. And oh, that's cool. Day, I have come up with 35 episodes. Oh. And also, additionally, coming up with an idea for a new art. Oh, I no. I don't want to mention what these episodes are, because on the possibility that these might become legit episodes, I don't want to spoil any ideas. Exactly. We move them until next year. Invested. I just hope the next arc would be much better because after the lawsuit arc, I think it wasn't that great. I will talk more about that next year. I told you all that before. Just keep that in mind. I have voiced many characters overall for Glitch, not just for SMG4. But the one thing I will mention oh is that I think a lot of people tend to kind of miscalculate which characters in particular I'm voicing. So, to avoid any more conclusions... I knew he was for the boss god, the box god, and so that time travel person. <laughs> As you can see here, the universe's avatar... But I've been knowing him for the G1 so long, so... That's where I know him in the first place. Oh yeah, the box club, where you <laughs> Well, he's already dead now, but still. Oh, it's the watch show. I knew that was his voice all along with that one. I didn't know he was. Wow. Nice. <laughs> it's a green duck. Oh wow, well, I did not know he was a guy chat. Let's and that person from marijuana. Wow, just nice. Pretty much just my regular voice. The only difference really with it is that it's maybe a little bit more deeper and a lot more serious. You know, like casually if I'm talking like this, it's hard to kind of hear him. But if I actually treat this as a very serious mention, you can kind of now imagine this voice coming from someone with a very rectangle head. Box Sir, leader. Good lady. The voice <laughs> behind that was literally just, and I want to type this character's name up because I, I don't want to mispronounce it. Heinz Dufensch. Oh, for Peter's sake. Name, I know who the character <laughs> is. So essentially, this was the kind of direction that they wanted the voice to go to. So pretty much, I just did the best I could with this, and the kind of starting words I would always say is Perry the Platypus. And I would just go, The other one in particular <laughs> that <I> mean, <laughs> how it all boils down together, I'm in the recording booth and Luke goes, can you do a British accent? And I think I just had a brain fart. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. I had a brain fart on the day and I'm like, Oh crap, I can't do a British accent. And they're like, alright, I'll just do what you think it is. So I pretty much just did this, and this was the voice I came up with. So I am the watcher, I've only appeared in one video, so I hope you yeah. enjoyed this very brief segment of... Yeah, what happens if they come back next year? Like, what's gonna happen to the watchers next year if they come back? That's a good question to know. <laughs> I was kind of like impersonating Charles when he was doing his audition tape. Oh yeah. And... I won't be able to do it um, as well as they did on the day, but it was like, It's -a me, Mario, Yahoo! Let's make it a game together! I give it a pizza pie! You give it a pizza and then, you know, along the lines of that. But it was like, yeah. it was so critical of That makes day. sense. <laughs> it kind of sounded like Mario to an extent, and Luke was like, could you voice one Mario line? All the other voices, in particular, to talk about is either just been my regular voice or just slightly variations of deep voices, you know. Young Melody, I voiced Melody's father, and he sounded like this. Yeah, I didn't know they was. I didn't know he was for as Melody's father, but. The one thing I ended up learning. I guess Melody's parents, I don't know what happened to them. I think they died. I don't know. very good at screaming. So I guess if Glitch needs a character to scream their lungs out, uh, I'm the guy to go to. Weird Al Yankovic parodied your song. Now with oh boy. <laughs> the SMG4 videos, there are always two particular factors that I find myself prioritizing more than everything else. The first one being parody. Anyone who's known my channel knows that one of my specialities oh, yeah. is basically That's turning true. something into a parody. 
I've done parodies of Heavy is Dead, One Punch Man, The Look It's a Bird Meme. Yeah, but I don't like that meme now. <laughs> of bad. course, the family. These are the ones that yes, yes. So yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right yeah, it's for some five. Yeah. And the other thing but I don't really like that birdie meme, so I don't want to bring that up. Best term I could think of. While working on these videos, I've been devoting a period of time and observing what the audiences have been saying about SMG4 videos as a whole. I feel that, you know, regardless of how big the channel is and how many views that it regularly gets, I still believe that if someone has an opinion about the video or a character, I feel that they should be able to have their say in the matter. Even though that I have to make sure I follow down a particular script, I generally feel that if I sure. have Damn, opinions, you, bro. <laughs> opinions and criticisms of the SMG4 videos and then find a way to incorporate them within the actual soccer ball. videos themselves, I generally feel that in the terms of me with making videos, this is a good step in the right direction. Because I think the last thing I don't want audiences to feel is that they're being isolated. And they're trying That's to true. About. That's By true. By the way, with me saying this, this doesn't mean that I'm the only person doing it. Every single person in the SMG4 team, they are all observing what the community is saying about the videos. Yeah, but true. <laughs> time to ensure that we can make the best videos that we can with the SMG4 universe. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to showcase all the particular things that I've included in SMG4 videos that I've created based upon the opinions and expressions that I've seen. Oh yeah. Before. Let's start a particular Try to be with the Maggie fans out there. Hate of Maggie the fans. Of, of course. That came through this video were created by myself. Oh there's a delete scene. Oh. Oh, oh, of course. Bonnie, of course. Ah, ah, uh, oh! But the main thing wow. I wanted to talk about with this video was the outro. I know some people will have wondered, oh, how did you discover SMG4? Well, the very first video that I ever saw was the... Ah, uh, yes, very but scary we are. My, that was a classic, a classic one. Obviously, attacking and... I really miss the old version of this, but I know it's the future, things have to change, I get that point. But I might do a reaction rewatch of this next year, just keep that in mind. Until I catch up all the SML catch ups first. The original ending for that video was that when the lights go out, Mario was gonna emerge from the darkness. Oh yeah, you can't get away from me, Mario. Mario. Oh God. <laughs> cracks in red, and it kind of like glows in the dark. It had like this evil looking face. And he was oh God. Saying, you know, it's a me, Mario, but like really slow motion and scary. The only problem That's kind of scary, oh God. Going for it was too scary for the actual audience itself, and so that's why that idea never came to light, and ended up being scrapped for just a, a more quicker and simpler ending. Next, I'm yeah, that's kind of true, the but oh the well, that's kind of true. Well, I'll be scared of crap out of myself. In the actual script itself, when I was making the scene, it literally just said, "Make an epic fight against Waluigi and Matt." The one thing that I wanted to do was incorporate elements of Waluigi into Waluram, Waluram. Walu I'm never going to say that word properly. And the main thing was the Waluigi launcher. So yeah, I was true. Like, imagine. That when Waluigi transforms, he has a more powerful version of the Waluigi launcher. Oh, Waluigi that's cool. That fighting scene we haven't heard about that, that, but that's cool. The final cut was, I know in the arc, there's a... Oh, yeah, the Waluigi arc. It was still the best one. With his psycho psycho Why are there so many words I can't pronounce? So, there's a bit where he's controlling Master Head, and I wanted to have this scene where Waluigi spawns all these, like, purple shadow versions of Master Oh, Man, wow. They all pick up tennis rackets and start hitting tennis balls towards Matt like a minigun. But, uh, unfortunately, I, I didn't have enough time to make that, so that's why that wasn't included in the final video. 
Oh man! I wish that happened. I was asked to make this. The one thing that I had in the back of my mind was that Bob obviously had an arc where Bob. Yeah, that's true. I wanted to ensure that all the memes that I chose for this, the majority of them were all music related. I wanted the scenes I made for this video to kind of be a bit of a homage to the Bob arc. And one thing I planned was yeah. I wanted to ensure that one skit was going to be about Bob doing a rap. And luckily, the outro skit turned into that. Oh, uh, yeah. Bob's new job. That was kind of effed up, to be honest. Feeling within my guts. Hope you're not allergic, baby, cause this body may contain some nuts. I'll be willing to go home. That was too effed up, you know. The next thing I wanted to kind of mention was Gina, and I'm going to just refer to <laughs> Gina for the remainder of this video for um, obvious reasons. A lot of people who are subscribed to SMG4 really wished that things like Gina could return back. And after watching GNR videos, I can clearly see the appeal that it had and why a lot of people wish they returned. I ended up making an oath to myself that basically said, anytime I work on a scene where Swag and Chris are the main focus of that scene, I'm going to try and put Greg and Mark in the background of every shot that I can. And that's, oh, that's why cool. been appearing in recent videos. But then came Mario gets his finger stuck in a car door. When I was chosen to work on the Swag and Chris segment, I realized that I was given a big opportunity to give a really big shout out to the GNR fanbase. In the script, it literally said, Swag and Chris get the army. So I thought, yeah. how about instead of the army, I take the spaghetti factory and make that the army. In fact, I even did an ad lib moment where Sergeant Mark was actually going to speak in the episode. I would have delayed seeing this. Swag, where the heck are they? Oh! Ah, oh, man! Katsu? Oh! Oh! Ouch! <laughs> If that really happened in episode, I feel bad for Kazo. <laughs> but that, that face, bro. <laughs> I was kind of funny, to be honest. <laughs> Big one in particular because this one actually took me a lot by surprise. I want to ask you, the audience, a simple question Who do you think is the most hated character of the SMG4 game? Oh, no, I'm not gonna say that. So I used like all of them at all because it turns out that the most hated character it's probably is naked. I knew it. The way you go, the way you look, you're gonna see everyone with the same attitude towards this one character. Oh my oh, god. Acting like an insufferable jackass when she gave up too. Oh no, did Mario accidentally step on Maggie's foot and anger the ginger? Oh no, not again. Maggie was an actual bitch here. Maggie's character in god this episode it. was complete crap. But she deserved it. Maggie being a rage monster isn't what made her good. Gotta love that she refused to help him until... Okay, the, the people who's commenting on that, you guys are a bunch of brats. Okay, first of all, I don't hate Maggie. I love Maggie. Sure, people are just a bunch of idiots or brats who've been hating Maggie all the time. But you know, I don't like how people being with Maggie like that, you know. Like, look at this, look at this. I hate it. God darn it, scares me. You see, I hate. I when people abuse and so should you. How does Mario still consider any of these guys his friends anymore? Last episode they were assholes, now they're friends. Good episode, but watch it mean absolutely nothing next week. What has happened to Maggie and Mario's friendship? As much God as people, it, people. Like I tell you what, people. Mario and Maggie get stuck and must repair their friendship. They've been acting more argumentative recently, and I miss them just getting along and being friends. Mario being the punching bag of the episode for bull reasons. If only this type of stuff was canon and when i observed this i'm not gonna lie i got concerned so i decided to thoroughly look into this because i really wanted to devolve into the center of it all and find out exactly what people didn't like about this character and if there was a solution behind all of it for all of this to kind of stop and based upon all the research oh come on the apology would have hurt i've anything. devolved into a theory based upon four particular bullet points this is why I hate SMG4 people, like the haters out there. 
I, that's why I don't like SMG Pro handles. Like, I don't like them. Seriously. Like the SMG Pro handles. I don't like them. Oh, I know what you that picture from. I know who your dad is. And now into <coughs> characters in a completely different way. Like Mario. And last but not least is that they want a character like Maggie to be just Okay, the pit, the picture that um instead of acting more serious. Maggie's burning down the castle. Like that's Effa. mentioned that they don't like it when Mario acts like a quote unquote man child. So obviously You know, this is why I don't like FG4 Harris being rude to Maggie. It's still here, stupid to be honest. Is to now, I'm gonna have to agree with him when he's saying as well. I can't just throw it in any particular scene. There had to be a moment that I could have the opportunity to do so. And then now listen, later, guys. I understand Maggie has been a law around this year, but listen, y'all. I tell you what. I know how you all feel, okay? I love Maggie. I just want to let you all know that. But you don't. It's your opinion. I don't care if you don't like Maggie. It's your opinion. It's your opinion. Dale, your opinion. Check on his brother, but there was Meg. What happened to her? So then I basically ad lib, and I thought to myself, okay, what if Meg is able to get out successfully and then land back on the ground? But now I'm like, well, people have been calling her a Mary Sue, and I don't want to make that theory have more evidence. So I'm like, okay, what if I just get Meg to just smash into the wall and then land on the ground? And then I went, uh, well, I can't do that because you know Mario and Meg are supposed to look out for one another, so it wouldn't be fitting. So yeah, I ended true. Up devolving into. Was just Luigi instead would explode, Maggie would fly out, and Mario would catch her. Oh, then speaking of that, there's fan talks about and that. Then Mario would confront him, so that way the script is able to continue. That scene alone only exists because I decided to take the time in observing what the fan base in the community was saying about Maggie alone. If I chose to not engage and see what the community was saying, that scene alone would never have even existed in the first place. I had this theory, it's being added in the final video, I'll just have to see what the audience thinks of it. <laughs> oh, it Zach. It went perfectly. That scene alone ended up bringing everyone together. Those who just wanted to watch a simple story were fine, and then the other side of the community lost their minds. I remember seeing yep, this post. I knew how they gonna feel. It's now a national holiday to celebrate, and the fan art, like, oh my god. This is of the course. Oh, that's weak, girl. There's Jared to the uh, Mood Inkling. One particular scene in general. I, have seen I know so who that was. Uh, that was over here, I guess. Pasta, that's Pasta. Oh, Pearls are so hot. There goes. And Rudy, why it's the two. I really enjoyed this scene. So if I ever <coughs> have the opportunity to keep doing that with Mario and Maggie, huh. I'm gonna keep doing it because a lot of people really like it. Take SMG yeah. Sud, for example. When Mario says, I'll see you later, that was in the script. When Mario walks away and Maggie doesn't want him to go and they have this moment with their hands, that was an ad lib scene. That was never in the script. That was added because of me. Another example of this, but uh, unfortunately not really displayed the way I intended, was if Mario was the last man on Earth. And I did the very last scene of that. But there's one thing I added with that, like it clearly wasn't implemented properly, but I feel like I should at least tell you what I attempted to do. If you notice in the video, Maggie is holding Jump Jump, and I yeah. did this in the Oh yeah, when they, when he, when she, so uh, baby said Jump Jump. And in the very last shot, when all of them are charging towards Mario, notice how every huh. single- I love that pose, by the way. I love that kind of pick. Maggie wow. <laughs> jump jump. So Maggie isn't actually charging herself towards Mario. Maggie is being pulled by Jump Jump. I was trying to get Maggie angry at Jump Jump, but obviously when every other so, character was upset. I still want to make that a shot. Sure. That would be funny if I do that next year. That would be great. Wrong implication. There was break but I like the one from the um the two script, big Well, was just supposed to hug Luigi, but then I, like, I think well, the wardrobe looks good, so I might you try to use that so one. Like, eh, why not? I'll make Mario hug the both of them. And then came what I like to call the Magnum Opus. Of course. Reacts memes eleven. I managed to make sure that 
every scene particular for it was the best ones I could choose from it. And I'm glad to see with the amount of effort put in that one video alone has literally been labeled by the SMG4 community as one of the best Mario and Maggie videos out there. And obviously, oh yeah, let's see how the how the um the, uh, Mario X Maggie fans feel, cause I don't like the ship, you know. <laughs> I mean, I like the as friends, but I don't like the ship, you know. Maggie wanted to bring Mario along with her, but I will like to mention one thing. When I saw this video being uploaded, I was a bit disappointed. Because I devoted time within an animated segment of that video, which ended up being cut from the final version. And for those wondering exactly and what is there going to be a delayed scene of it? Allow me to summarize it in a way that you never would have ever expected to hear. With the desert scene, everyone was labeling that as the most wholesome bit of the entire video. That scene was actually supposed to be the second most wholesome bit in the entire video because the Mario Kart <laughs> actually shortened from what it was originally the end one. with. The actual note that was written Can't wait for you come back, Gumball. Miss you. Went along the lines of this. After Maggie crashes into the wall and explodes, her burning corpse oh! fall next to Mario. Mario would then hug the burning corpse and say, You are a superstar. Now, using that segment, and also including how much the community really liked the ad-libbed from the Cursed Tapes video, this is how the Mario Kart skit was actually supposed to end. Wow. Well, yeah, do the delete scene. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Oh! <laughs> You're a superstar! Oh, wow. Ha 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 ha! Curse! This is the magnum opus. It's not going to get more wholesome than this. And then I look at the next video that I was assigned to make, which was Mario does. Okay, and let's the see. Very first skit written for this. Oh, Kid curse! Was at Goes with a slumber party. He gave so he could get kissed from the female members of the SMG4 crew. Now in the final version. Oh yeah, totally spam Mario mail. Of course, yeah. In a deleted scene version, however, this is how it used to look like. Hello, me. Oh, ho ho ho! ho. Okay. In the years of working on videos, dang, I didn't expect that. <laughs> within my scenes. In fact, I've been hiding them so well that majority of them have not been found. Yeah, Some that was perfect for Easter wagon now. <laughs> that, the majority of them have literally been considered lost. So what I'm going to do right now is give to you this little checklist. This particularly states every single video I've worked on where an Easter egg can be found. Make sure you focus very close attention to okay. these videos and you will finally be able to find these Easter eggs. I guess the last thing I could mention with this, and this is just the thought of mine, this probably might not even ever happen on the channel, but maybe I could make my own, like, fan-made animations on this particular channel, of, like, maybe, like, fan-requested animations or particular ideas? Maybe? Of, um... Oh! I've got a better idea. How about, I'll, I'll quickly do something in Gary's mod, and then just show you. One hour later. Okay, like, let's say I do this, right, and some fans like, oh, I want you to do this particular action. And that action in particular is... Oh, oh, no, no! Is this okay to animate, like, a fan request that's on the lines of this? No! Thank you, Jesus! I'm gonna react to reaction videos. I want to conclude this video by oh oh speaking wow the community themselves by wow the biggest yeah I was watching that early but on my channel. Oh, you didn't see my reaction before. The SMG4 team hey, it was me on the um top um up with DB Sai where Mario game like scene, how Oh yeah, I was late for that one, but at least I saw this. Nothing means the world. Hey, there's me down that beside uh before Dylan and that. Have ended up being able but to I fucking too. or make you laugh. 
So from the bottom of my heart, ah, stupid boy, okay, I wanted the top left, y'all. All those that have stuck around with the channel. It's been wonderful seeing all of your different Wow, reactions. guys, I appreciate all you all, thank you very much. And that was me in the Moe costume, of course. Himself, because we believe that all of these things collected together will help SMG4 make the best videos that we can for you all. Exactly. So everyone, everyone and there's the Revelation movie. I'm out of the, like, the top videos, second slide down. For sticking around. You're very welcome, Tussack. Oh! I should not be that loud. <laughs> there's Mickey Fan, New Cat. Too bad he's gone. Hey, it's about CRE. What we got next? Oh, Super Royal. And as well. Curse. Hey, Puppet! Love you, man. Oh, wow, 255 Civil, civil War. Hey, Lance. And his cousins. And there's Wagon Boys. And there's the Fan Ox. Mexico. So that's cute. Oh god. Oh god! Why did I just see that? <laughs> hey, the swag. A bell. Joy! The best auto right there. Hey, that's why I'm curse. I know him. Oh, Gwee's the artist. I don't know where she's at now, but With she did a good job. The community, there are two individuals in particular that I want to give really and big we have? shout outs to. Because I personally believe they deserve it. And what we have? This big shout out is going to be the Crips. And the Crips Crip. Crips Crip. Make sure you all go follow her on YouTube and Instagram, guys. Oh, she was kind of cute like that. Thank you guys for oh wow, you just let them so in the office. Thank wow, you. you are so lucky. Thank you, so you, you are so lucky, Quibs. So hey, lucky. Subjects, it is I, Princess Swordheart the Gamer. Oh wow, so the game mode. Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen here. <gasps> oh yeah, she's actually now getting more likes than me now, especially like um, I get it, y'all. Since like, like what do you boys get more likes than me now? More some more gamers, like Nick. Yeah, he gets more likes than me sometimes now, and um. I mean, she's still a YouTuber, just keep that in mind. I know Fire Girl gets... Wow, at least Fire Girl gets more likes as usual, but still. You do realize you forgot to put Fire Girl and Nick in this video! <laughs> wow, that's cute. <laughs> To be honest, guys, I think she's a fan girl of uh, SMG1. <laughs> oh, tell me where we fence. <laughs> that was good. That was good so hard. If you wish to participate in the Easter egg hunt, you can. And also. Make sure that you subscribe and check out the people in the description yep. that I've shouted out. Know what to do, y'all. If you don't, we'll make boys vs. girls. No! Win, and then we're gonna kill Bob. <laughs> yeah, don't. <laughs> well, in my opinion, I've been seeing a lot of people hate boys vs. girls, but... For me... Don't give me hate, y'all, but... I like it, but I did not like the punk when Molly being with the toy. That's it. I mean, that's what the deal is, that, that still makes sense. Well guys, that was my video to talk about the thank you feel that you guys have been watching. And especially, thank you for everybody who's been watching this, and thank you for the people who join in this. I know he forgot to put Fire Girl, um, who else, um, Super Mario Game Mode, Super Mario 1, and um, 
I don't know Prince Charmant does because I think he he doesn't really answer the people that much, only except sometimes. But still, that makes sense. Well, I want to say thank you all for being around for my SMG4 reactions this year. It's been a good thing. Yes, some of them are still on my second channel and some of them are on my main channel, but hopefully next year, every single SMG4 reaction will still be on this channel for next year. And every single Glitch Production show, too. Alright, that's why. Okay. <coughs> okay, so I wanna say thank you all for watching this video guys. I would appreciate for everybody who who been around my SG4 content for the past four years of my reactions to it. And next year when SG4 comes back after break, we'll be back in action. Not really much, since I don't really have a lot of much of SG4. I know it's a long story about what happened to my plushies and that, but that's a long story. I don't want to talk about that right now. I still have my posters, but not the new ones this year. I know it's sad, but I'll talk more about that in the future. And thank you for each and one of you all who have been around for me for my SG4 content. It's just been a pleasure, a good job for watching my content. We did get really almost a lot of 100 likes for other SMG4 videos we watch, but hopefully next year we'll be back on track, and hopefully we get some more 100 likes for next year. And since we have 35 episode ideas that we are going to say, and um... One arc episode, like one arc I did, I mean, I just hope it's gonna be better than the last one. Because since the last one, good God, the last walk wasn't that great. But, like what I said, I talk more about that next year. Well, guys, make sure you go to the poll down below. He, he done amazing. And he done a good job, excuse me, of his work. And make sure you all go follow the Crips Crib and So Hard and probably other YouTubers that you just saw. And make sure you all go subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell so you won't miss my videos every week. Because I'm trying to upload every week. That's what I'm trying to do. And hopefully, I hope I get my computer sometimes very soon. Alright guys, make sure you all go follow and subscribe. And as always, <coughs> God, I hate my cough. As always guys, have a good rest of your day. There will be another video coming later today. Have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next video. This is your boy, Lyra Just Raggle. And to all my SMG4 fans and the Glitch Production fans, I will see you guys next year in 2023. And I will see you all in the next video. And I will see you all on Saturday for SMG4 Christmas Special 2022. Thank you for everything, Paul. Deuces.